Hey everyone, welcome to Freehandly Made A You, My Autistic Life. My name is Nisi. This is my channel. Look, you guys, it's done. It is so done. Look how pretty that is. Look how wide it is. This will fit a twin size bed. This is supposed to be an Afghan, you guys. This thing is big and heavy. All right, I'm going to move up a little close so you can see one of my favorite blocks. Where is it? Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> That's one of my favorite blocks with the flower. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, they're, they're just so pretty. So you can see how I how I joined them. I did it the way Bag O'Day does hers in the back loop only so you get that effect. But yeah, it's done you guys. Okay. Give me one. This is it. It turned out really good. For my first square ever afghan, it turned out really good. Uh, how am I going to ship it? I have no idea, you guys. This blank is huge. It's going to take a big box. I know some people were like, you know, I could get those bags and you do the vacuum and it sucks them in. I have one of those. But it didn't work well for me at all. I couldn't get it to suck in. I must be doing something wrong. <laughs> I'm going to try it again and see. But even with it sucked in, it's not going to fit the uh, mailer envelopes. It's not. It just isn't. It's just too big. It's going to have to go in some kind of a box. Anyway, so it's all ready to go to be shipped to my mother-in-law. I'm very excited. Alicia from Country Mama Musings. I did it. I did it. I want to show you guys the border that I did. You know how I said I was going to use one of Bag O'Day's borders? Well, I didn't. Um, I ended up doing half double crochets all the way around the blanket. And then I did do a stitch that I did learn from Bag o Day because she used the stitch in one of her many beanies, and it's the crab stitch. Um, I just wanted it to have a very um, simple but refined border because I didn't want the border to take away from the blocks. Does that make sense? Because, I mean, the, all the blocks are all, all so special and different. I didn't want the border to steal the show. You know what I mean? So I, I did a couple of rounds or a couple of squares, and I really liked the way it looked. <clears throat> See, that's the border. So it's just a nice, very simple border. Just a really nice, simple border. And it doesn't steal the show at all. These actually, these are actually raised, you guys. They feel so cool. The texture of these, the, the arrows. But yeah, so I, I really like this block too. I wore this blanket last year, January of last year. I was still learning how to crochet. I'm still learning how to crochet. I'm still, I mean, I've only been crocheting for two years. That's it. Actually, has it been a full two years yet? I think it's been almost two years. I don't know. I'll have to look at one of my videos that will tell. I think I started. This is 2023. <laughs> I think I'm a, a year. In, yeah, I think I did make two years. I don't know. God, time flies by so fast, you guys. Anyway. All right. So, um, so I did the crab stitch and I learned that from Bag o Day's channel. Now, the pattern is by Leisure, Leisure, Leisure Arts. It's no longer printed, printed. You can find it on Amazon, but it's, it's kind of expensive because it's no longer in print, right? So, um, but it's by Leisure Arts, and it's the sample block afghan. It's the 63 sample block afghan. 
<clears throat> the squares were supposed to be seven inches, but mine came out to be more like eight by the time I did the borders around each square. And um, and I went down. No, did I go down? Hook? No, I didn't go down the hook size. I used a five millimeter. Anyway, and Country Mama Musings, she did all sixty three tutorials on all sixty three blocks. You guys, that's a lot of work for her to have done that. Kudos to her because I wouldn't be sitting here making this video without her doing that. Um, especially on some some of these blocks. Some of these blocks were were really really hard. Look at this one. This one's really cool too. Look, got the got the bobbles. Aren't those neat? They're so neat. I like the really good textured ones. Are like kind of my favorite. Um. But yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna try to refold this up a little nicer. Um, and before I do though, I do want to take a nice picture of it. Um, in the other room, and I uh, get a nice photograph of it. <laughs> before I package it up and get it so this one is done now um, I got Mr. Handsome all his blocks done for his for his blanket and I need to piece them together I'm going to try and do that tonight I'm going to piece them together and then I start sewing them together once his blanket's done then I'm going to be starting on little man's hoodie blankie and I am going to use Bag o Day's tutorial for that um, her tutorial, I guess, cause it's a video, a, a video and I'm a, I'm a visual learner, um, seemed a little easier than the actual pattern. There is a pattern for a blankie hoodie done by Jonah from Yarn Inspirations, but y'all, I, I just didn't get the pattern. I didn't understand the pattern. I didn't understand the pattern at all, at all. Um, I may try and look at, I did download that pattern cause it's a free pattern and I may look at it again. And, and see if I can figure it out because his pattern is definitely more geared towards little man size. Um, but if I can't figure it out, I'm just going to use Bag o Days and figure out how to make it smaller. Seriously, because I, I don't know. I just had a hard time understanding the pattern, you guys. Um, if any of you are really good at reading patterns and you're willing to help me, understand said pattern let me know it's a free pattern but um oh i can either you can download it yourself or i can email it to you and maybe we can go over the pattern together um because i don't know i've never done a wearable before and this thing definitely has sleeves which means i'm going to have to measure little man and i want to make it slightly bigger because i want him to be able to wear it for a while and he's going through a growing spurt so um yeah so just just if, if you're interested, just reach out to me, sit, shoot me an email, let me know. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Um, you guys, I just want to say thank you again. The party last night was so much fun. I was just slightly over two hours. Um, we would have definitely gotten done with that party in less than two hours if it wasn't for my StreamYard issues and my, my techie issues that I was having. And um, I do want to say thank you to Jack. She sent me an article um, through email. I have not had a chance to read it, but I'm going to read it and see what I can do to solve the issue I had with StreamYard last night. Because, you know, I don't normally have people up on my panel, but I would like to. And when I do, I would like for them not to echo. And I had the noise counseling echo feature checkmarked. I had everything checkmarked that I was supposed to have checkmarked. Anyway. The party turned out fine anyway, and I made it through. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to make it through. I'm not I'm not used to being on a live that long. Um, I, I purposely try not to be on a live that long. Um, but it seemed like everyone had a good time. I definitely had a good time. There was a lot of smiling. Um, anyway, and uh, the gifts that were donated were also amazing and wonderful. And some two of those gifts are mystery gifts, and I can't wait to see what these people get. And then um, Firefly, my friend Firefly, uh, she lives in New York. She's gifting one of her paintings, and I would love to see what it looks like. So Firefly, I'm going to tag you on this video. Please take a picture of that painting and text it to me so I can see it before you mail it off. I just want to see it. <laughs> She's so gifted, you guys. She really is gifted. Um, she does all kinds of different stuff. Anyway, so yeah, 
it was a blast. It really was. Um, and I'm so glad that we were all were able to come together and we were able to show you guys a good time and celebrate you all because the party was about you. It was not about me. Anyway, I'm going to head out. You guys have a great weekend. I'll see some of you on porch chat. Always remember, dare to be you, dare to be different. Love from Montana. Bye, everybody.